Alexander and the tr Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Well, I hope this guy has a good day. Uh-oh. Somebody looks grumpy. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth. And now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard. And by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink. While the water was running, and I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound like a very good day at all. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box. And Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. They're in a car. I wonder where they're going. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. But no one even answered me. Uh-oh. So I guess that must be Alexander right there. He was looking kind of grumpy. He's not sitting by the window. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At school, Mrs. Dickinson liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out the number 16. Huh? Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on attack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off and the cone part lands in Australia. Oh, oh that wasn't very nice, was it? He's not having a very good day. Turn the page. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had a little coconut sprinkles on top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in a dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Oh no. I think Alexander needs to figure out how to fix his problems, how to make himself happy. That's what it was, because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good, guys. What do you think happened? Yeah, I think his foot hurts. Maybe he stubbed his toe. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot. And while we were waiting for my mom to get the car, 
Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then when I started to cry because of the mud, Nick said, I was a crybaby. And, uh-oh, see, that's where he fell in the mud. And they're saying he's a crybaby. That's not very nice, is it, guys? We don't say that to people. That only makes things worse and it hurts their feelings. And while I was punching Nick for saying I was a crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me. That means got him in trouble for being muddy and for fighting. Well, he should have used his words, right, everybody? We don't punch. It's not very nice. He needed to tell Anthony that he didn't like him calling him a crybaby. All of you guys know that, right? I'm having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, I told everybody. No one even answered. So, then when we went to the shoe store to buy some new sneakers, Anthony chose white ones with a blue stripe. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes, but then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain white shoes, but they couldn't make me wear them. Uh-oh, he's not very happy. <laughs> I said, uh-oh, and Duncan looked over at me. He wants to know what's going on. Right, Duncan? You want to know what's going on? When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copying machine. But I forgot. He also said, watch out for the books on his desk. And I was careful as could be expected, my el except for my elbow. He also said, don't fool around with his phone. But I think I called Australia. My dad said, please, please don't, my dad said, please don't pick him up anymore. It was a very terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Oh, it looks like it's supper time. There was lima beans for dinner. And I hate limas. There, wa there was kissing on TV, and I don't like kissing. Uh-oh. So he didn't like the TV show he was watching. Now he's in the bathtub. I wonder what's going to happen while he's in the bathtub with his rubber ducky. There's, oops, there's the ducky. There's Alexander, something's going on, something went wrong. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My, bar my marble went down the drain and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I don't like railroad train pajamas. Hmm. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says some days are just like that. That's true. Sometimes things go wrong in our day. We have to try to fix them. There they are. They're going to sleep. Those are bunk beds. Oh, last page. Even in Australia. Sometimes you can have a bad day in Australia. It doesn't matter where you are. The end.